Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Well, we put it all together and indeed the Conrod does in fact clout the case. So as the, as the flywheels come round, the side of the Conrod as it deflects was just touching the engine case there. So I've milled out some clearance on this side. I don't need to go too deep because I just need to be uh, half the width of the Conrod here plus a little bit of, of clearance for, for lateral side movement. So that's plenty. I need to do the same on the other side. You can see what I've taken out um, there for the, the sleeve drive crank in the past and I'm just doing this side now. So once I've got a matching pair there, I'll put it all back together again in the shed next door and do another video, hopefully, um, of the whole thing rotating round. So fingers crossed that, that works quite well. I'm on the mighty bridge port, I'm doing a bit of CNC but nothing fancy. It's just um, simple passes just to cut along there and it gets a bit noisy when that happens. We're just taking off about a mil at a time with the uh, with a mil end, as in one millimetre. And um, and there we go. So that's the latest update. Thanks for watching. I'll stand over here because it's a bit um, a bit quiet. So that's better. Thanks for watching as always. More updates will follow. And with uh, with any look, we'll actually have an engine. You can see all the internals and how it works very shortly.